Let us look at one example. A plus, B plus, C plus, C minus, B minus, A minus. With the initial positions of the three cylinders shown on the template. Next enter the corresponding acknowledged signals. A plus will trigger A1, when cylinder A is fully extended. B plus, B1. C plus, C1. Similarly, C minus trigger C0, when cylinder C is fully retracted. B minus, B0. A minus, A0. Now we need to group the actions. Remember the rule. No alphabet of the same type is allowed to be included in the same group. Therefore, A plus, B plus, C plus, are in group 1. C minus, B minus, A minus, are in another group, group 2. Let us now draw the corresponding arrow to show the signal designated action. A1 triggers B plus. B1 triggers C plus. C1. R2. C0. B minus. B0. A minus. A0. R1. To complete the electrical ladder diagram. First, copy the given actions from the table. A plus, B plus, C plus. Under the control of R1. C minus, B minus, A minus. Under the control of R2. From the table above, R1 is turned on by A0. R2 is turned on by C1. When R2 turned on, R1 is turned off by 3 R2, which is included in the template. When R1 is turned on again in the next cycle by A0, R2 is turned off by this special 1 2. Normally closed but held open limit switch A0, which is activated by the last action of the given sequence which is A- in this example. Now let us look at all the actions in group 1 under the control of group control relay R1. When R1 turns on, contact 2 R1 is closed. Since A plus is the first action in this group, A plus is activated immediately without going through any limit switch. When A plus action is completed, A1 is activated. A1 is used to trigger B plus. When B plus action is completed, B1 is activated. B1 is used to trigger C plus. When C plus action is completed, C1 is activated. Since C plus is the last action in this group, C1 is used to trigger the next group control relay, which is R2. Next, let us look at all the actions in group 2 under the control of group control relay R2. When R2 is on, contact 2 R2 is closed. Since C minus is the first action in this group, C minus is activated immediately without going through any limit switch. When C- action is completed, C0 is activated. C0 is used to trigger B-. When B- action is completed, B0 is activated. B0 is used to trigger A-. When A- action is completed, A0 limit switch is activated. Since A- is the last action in this group, two pairs of contacts in this A0 limit switch are used. A012 pair is used to turn off R2. A014 pair is used to turn on R1 again. At this stage, all the information needed to wire up the electrical ladder diagram is sufficient. All the limit switches used are 14 pair, except one. The one and only 12 pair is used in the whole circuit is used to turn off R2. To complete a proper electrical ladder circuit, let us put back the initially activated, or not activated conditions of the limit switches back into the ladder circuit. Let us examine C0 and B0 in group 2. If you look at the initial positions of the cylinders on the right, C0 and B0 are both initially activated, therefore are both held closed initially as shown. Next, let us examine A1, B1 and C1 in group 1. From the initial positions of the cylinders on the right, A1, B1, and C1 are all initially not activated as shown. 